For this guys that okay i'm back over here again and we're gonna look at some stuff real quick you're not gonna see me anymore i love this booth okay this one and these are ones that were sold out right oh they these these here well actually all of them sold out last year and uh this one sold out especially fast and but these are also these are also sold out with the green pumpkins the naturals these are the number uh the, the biggest sellers uh, these sell very well as well. These sold out as well last year. Had a tough time getting. That is beautiful. Slightly translucent. This actually has kind of a secret UV reactive glow. So okay. we, we normally don't see it. Okay. But when you're fishing in the outdoors, the sunlight hits it, actually activates this. So the fish can actually see this profile a little bit better in the, in the water. And you can see it if you go into a dark room, um, but the fish can see it very easily. Um, here in the light at a show, in the, in the daylight, you don't see it. But it's there, it's kind of a secret. For uh, new this year, we've had such big demand for the Helga mites. Now uh, we've got a June bug Helga mite. A lot of the large now, market. Yes. The first thing that jumps out to me about this is that the flake is larger. Yes. Like when I looked at this, the silver flake popped. Yes. We designed this bait. We thought a lot about this. We we decided to go with the blue small flake. Okay. And the large silver flake. Okay. So we wanted to go with something with a little bit more flesh. Yeah. It's and, grapier looking. I like that. Yeah. It, it does look a little grapier. And uh, this is we put this through some testing, and a lot of guys like this, and they really like this style of June bug. It's a little bit unique on the market. And, yeah. Uh, it stood out immediately when I touched it. Like the yeah. silver, just like boom. Yeah. It is different. The, uh, the guys up in the Northeast have been killing it on walleye with these. In fact, the walleye guys uh, actually got us on to this market. We really weren't thinking about walleye that much. But these Helger mites, especially the watermelon, have uh, really been hot for walleye in the Pennsylvania area. This like gold color. Yeah. What is this? Oh, that, it is gold. Brown is, with gold flake. That's like a, we just call it brown gold flake, but it's, it's a milky brown. Yeah. yeah. That's a, it's a, that's another excellent color. <laughs> My personal best fish was actually on that color. Really? Yeah. Six pounds? Ten pound, ten ounce. But it was a yeah, snakehead. <laughs> he was he was telling me that he lost a six pound smallmouth up on the Susquehanna. Oh, uh, the Shenandoah. Tell me here. On the Shenandoah. On that. Yeah. Yes. Look at these shrimp. Most, uh, to be quite honest, most of my personal large, large mouth have been caught on these shrimp. Like looking like a crayfish, I guess. Got a six pounder on that. Multiple four pounders on that. Big bass on a shrimp bait. Absolutely. If you go to if you go to Instagram and dig through enough of the, there's probably a thousand photos. But if you dig through them, you'll find some uh, you'll find some giant mouths with little shrimp in them. The tadpole is going to be something here. I wish I had this the other day. Oh my gosh! <laughs> How this, did I not see this the last time? This is a very. It's actually a really good selling bait. If you see, <laughs> so very few companies will make a trans. First of all, very few companies make a good translucent clear bait. Nico, Nico really kind of specializes in that. And <laughs> so this, this is a nice clear. It's got the nice UV in it. Hold on. What? I, I tell oh. you, there's, there's a reason why Daiwa and Shimano chose Nico to do their baits. And again, just for people who hadn't seen the other video, Nico is the company and they brand their baits. They brand their baits just Nico. That's it. That's it. Scott just continues to blow my mind. So I like finesse. I like one off. Y'all know I'm, a, I'm an advocate for the small guy. So he pulls these baits out and I'm like, Do you, these aren't, these are for commercial fishermen. Yes. But then he says, I'm geeking off the white. Then he says, I got it in the pink. And my whole channel, people joke me because I always use pink worms. So I'm like, you got it in pink, you got to be kidding me. I've got these in pink. I've got them in pink, I've got them in pearl. Um, sometimes I have them glow white. I don't right now. This, these are actually made for commercial fishermen. Commercial fishermen, I, to my knowledge, Nico is the only soft bait manufacturer that has a significant presence in commercial fishing. These will outfish live bait. They're more economical. It's worth it. Um, so these are, these are also used these are kind of secretive. I believe they're used for tuna fishing. The tuna fishermen are very secretive about what they do, so they don't always tell us. Right. 
but uh, but they order them by the thousands. Nico's line of octopus baits are probably the most most successful baits that they've had. They have a one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, six, and now an eight inch. So these these baits are um, the eight inch ones. Are, again, are used for tuna fishing. They're, they're they're just for commercial fishermen. I have them. I can sell them, you know, individually. Um, the how did I fish them for bass? For these, what I did was all the. I've, I've caught plenty of bass on my six-inch octopus. I, I catch bass all these all the time. They love this. Rigging it on a jig head? I will. It's got a hollow head. I will put a like an egg sinker in the head, and I'll just dangle a hook tree link behind it, and just throw it out there and swim it back. <laughs> That's all it takes. Um, my four and a half-inch model. Then the white is actually used by at least one pro um, on the tour. I can't say his name. We're not sponsored. We don't have any agreements. But Look these, at the little one. These are amazing. These are my favorite. The three and a half inch octopus bait. This bait here is this color with natural squid ink. This oh. bait is all 100% natural color, naturally flavored. This this is a really amazing. If you, it's also UV. So when you throw this bait out there, it's got a blackish, purplish, shiny, flaky look to it that is just really, really effective. It's really one of my personal favorites is this bait right here. And bass love it. I catch smallmouth, largemouth all the time. Just swimming it back. I, I just swim it back. I, they this, probably just don't even know what to do but bite it. They're like, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to kill it. And I have caught bass on these, but I couldn't catch it. What I did was I actually chopped off the some of the tentacles and I kept too long and I made it look like a frog. I actually put a frog hook in here and used it <laughs> top water. <laughs> that's so, right because Nico products float right without that's a weight. They all float. I'll tell you about new this year. Okay yeah new this year. New this year. We have these little 3.3 inch sandworms. These are super soft very heavily scented. So here at the show and the first day of the show, this is the only thing that could catch a fish in the bass tank. So, again, so and how would they drop shot it? Most what? people drop shot it. I think it would probably work best drop shot most of the time. Um, but it, it looks like a blood worm. Yeah. And, uh, so I mean that you're out croaker fishing or yeah. kingfish, spend uh, yeah like. Absolutely. These are also uh, also UV uh, for us. So these have been very good. Um, these baits, there, there's people up in the northeast, up in Maine, catching trout on these, using them for ice fishing. <laughs> um, um, I've, I've done very well with them bass fishing. So far, I've only gotten small small bass. Um, Holy crap! Ken, example, right? Uh, you look at that. And write a 355 sample minus one. So what's it grabs? So what's the intent behind this on a small jig head for well <laughs> sheep's head and like exactly what I had a buddy down in uh, Florida just killed it with sheep's head. He said that is the best thing he's ever used for sheep head. Um, he would choose these over over live shrimp. Yeah. Um, just <laughs> little crabs, little, they call them super little crabs, and they really are super. Um, these are new. We've got um, five colors. Now, most people use them for things like sheep's head and such. Uh -huh. But you know what also loves these? Croaker? Crappy. Really? Yeah. Smallmouth. Bluegill. Love them. Crappy love them. I've caught a lot of big crappy on these yeah, during and, testing. And the material doesn't, the legs don't get ripped off with the brim with the oh, material? Oh, no. There you go. I may break it. I've never done this before. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> so this is amazing. These baits, I really, really love these baits. Um, I really, Nico makes some of the most amazing small baits. One pack of Nico small baits will bring in coolers full of fish all summer long. These, these things just last. I did very well with um, what? Nice big bluegill, nice crappy on these. I bet you I could catch um, croaker and kingfish on that too. I bet. And these are also all UV fluorescent as well. And they are actually scented with real crap. 
Yeah, I could catch cork on those. The the other bait we have is another another part of the that most people in here in the U.S. don't know much about it. I have a series of squid strips to replace squid strip. There's another other. That was pretty much over, and we're gearing to get out of here. But shot that video with Scott, loved it. So what he's allowing me to do because he's such a cool guy, he's standing behind the camera right now. Um, is we're going to do a giveaway. So. These Helgramites, which are fire for smallmouth and everything else you want to throw at them. This color just came out and you can't get it anywhere. By the way, you're still the only supplier in the U.S. for this, right? That's it. All right, so this is the only person. I know the only per. I know the man. He's the only one in the U.S. that has access to this. So we're going to do a giveaway. And we're going to give away the new Junebug Helgramite that you can't get anywhere that just came out. And we're going to give away the multi-pack which has four different colors in it okay so we're gonna pick a comment from this video and we're gonna do a giveaway Nico Bates this is Japanese stuff okay you'll get a pack with Japanese writing it's legit Japanese stuff that you can't get anywhere but from Scott and me um, so I'll put in the description when the contest is gonna end we're gonna use a random comment generator and we're gonna pick a comment and you're going to get to win Nico Bates, okay? Um, what's the retail on this? So retail is $7 a piece per pack, 7 bucks. JDM stuff, guys. Um, you want to say anything else? Did we cover everything? That's Scott's it. not a big camera person. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, just, just, hey. Try these baits out, guys. You're going to like them. Make sure that you're subscribed and that you comment so that you can get the giveaway. Okay, so if I pick your comment and you're not subscribed, you're not valid for the giveaway. I'm going to pick somebody else. So you got to subscribe. Be a subscriber. Comment below. And I hope you win. Thanks for watching Way Official. All right, so I'm going to do this straight off live just real quick because I'm at the show and he just blew my mind. So this is Scott Barrett with Nico Fishing. If you watch my YouTube channel, you've seen other videos with his baits. Y'all know I love to drop shot. Show me what you just showed me, Scott. Well, here we have a, this is a Nico called an Ikanago Minnow. It's 4.6 inches. Uh huh. This is a clear bait. Uh, Warren here was taking an interest in it. I was explaining to it, and I did this. Look at the glow on this bait. Oh my gosh. Now, hold on. Let's do the other one with the red flake. Y'all, I'm grinning like a kid on this, Christmas right now. This is also a very, very popular color. Very, very popular for inshore and uh, out on the West Coast. Uh, there's another one. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So, even though you can't really see it, the eyeballs in here, these eyeballs are also UV fluorescent. Now, it looks like the eyeballs went all the way through, unbroken. They do, they do go all the way through. So, they won't pull off when I nose hook it on a drop shot. No, they won't pull off on the drop shot. However, these baits last a long time. Okay. Um, I've never worn one out, and I would challenge some of your viewers to try to wear one out. I've literally, you could literally go hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fish on this. In fact, these baits are actually used by commercial tuna fishermen. Seriously. <laughs> and because they last, they don't have to replace them. They stand up to tuna. I'm trying price. to hold the camera still, but I'm. Look how much he's smiling. You can imagine how much I'm smiling right so, now. Um, the eyes will come out eventually, and you're going to catch a lot of fish on them, so eventually the eyes are going to get knocked out. Okay. Um, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, some of the baits here, here's a very popular one for the freshwater market. Um, although you can't see it, it doesn't shine like this. This is not a UV model. Although you can't see it, the eyes are, because they're black, but they are UV the eyes the eyeballs. Are. The eyeballs are UV. So even if uh, the fish can't see uh, the body, he's going to see some eyeballs that are reflecting uh, UV as well. <sighs> wow. Okay, I'm going back to the other camera now.